First of all, I love that nobody on The Bachelor has last names. Yeah. But anyway, um, how did it make you feel to say that to Peter? I mean, it was a lot of pent up emotion that I had had over the past five weeks. Yeah. Um, after our breakup ended, and just being able to sit down there and look him in the eyes and just show him that, you know, I've moved on and I'm yeah. strong, and you know what? I'm gonna be fine without you. Yeah, I love that. What a great message for all women. Yeah, <laughs> truly. Like, right? Like, you yeah. can't, like, beat the crap out of me. Yeah. Right? And so, but I have to ask you this. Do you still have feelings for him? I mean, Actually, watching the season has been very helpful, mm -hmm. um, working through any unresolved feelings I had towards Peter because I was able to watch my ex-fiance not only make out with every girl, <laughs> but um, see him just mislead me and mm -hmm. betray me. And that alone kind of gave me the closure that I needed. And sometimes knowing that you deserve better is the closure that you needed. Yeah, for and, sure. Yeah. I love that. And. I would love to know a little, like, you know, behind the scenes thing. Yeah. When you got to the house that day, yeah. did you know that he was going to break up, or uh, were you just completely wow. blindsided, um, like you say? I was very blindsided. Yeah. Um, walking into that day, we both knew that there was going to be cameras, and um, we were working through his unresolved issues he had. But um, I told him prior to going to LA, I was like, hey, you know, if, if you're wanting to break up with me, just give me a heads up. Yeah. And he said, no, I love you. We're going to work through this. And so I told me to trust him. So I trusted that. And walking into that day, um, that was the very first time I ever heard him say, I can't give you my full heart. Yeah. Because you know what? For me, love is respect. Mm -hmm. And if you respect somebody, you, you would be upfront with them. Right. right and right. you would tell them exactly how you feel at all yeah. times. Mm -hmm. That's what love to me is, is mm -hmm. respect. Mm -hmm. I always say you, fall, you should fall in respect with somebody, not fall in love with them. Right. Right. Thank you. I love that. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so. Thank you. Oh, uh, we're over, so we have to go to a commercial <laughs> break now. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. Um, people talk about Peter's mom, your number one supporter. How, yeah. how do we feel about her? Oh, goodness. Well, um, Barb, I don't think Barb. Any, uh, Barb. Not since Stranger Things. <laughs> no. Um, you know, I know she's been getting some heat, but mine and Barb's common ground is I loved Peter, and mm -hmm. she loves Peter, yeah. and we both are rooting for his happiness, yeah. and that's where our common ground was, and still is, and she's just looking out for her son, and is worried he might be making a bad decision. Yeah, she is a good mother. She's, yeah. She loves her son, and we should all be yeah. so lucky, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that, so that, that is a good fact. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. Um, <laughs> do you think Peter and Madison are gonna make it? Well, uh, <laughs> it didn't last with me, <laughs> but if he can follow through with his decision, then I wish them the best. Um, I'm staying out of it, though. I'm yeah. staying out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't blame you. She's yeah. such a smart girl to, to do that and to, and, and you're very well spoken on the show. So oh, really? Good Thank for you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,